Two of the most important pieces of data for you to know are your coverage rate and your dropout rate. The coverage rate shows the percentage of your target population that has been immunized with a particular dose of a vaccine. The dropout rate shows the percentage of infants who started receiving immunizations but never received all doses in a series. Calculating these two numbers is something you should do every month. Why should you do it? Because both of these pieces of data will help you discover potential coverage problems. Once you have discovered a coverage problem, you can figure out what sort of action you should take to increase your coverage. Let us look at how you calculate each of these numbers, starting with the coverage rate. Here is the formula for calculating your annual coverage rate. We are going to work through this formula step by step. First, write down the annual target population for the community. The target population may be the number of infants under one year old or pregnant women. Use the official data given to you by the Ministry of Health. Next, for a particular vaccine type or a specific dose of that vaccine, tally the total number of doses you delivered during the preceding 12 months. Now, divide the number of doses delivered by the annual target population and multiply that number by 100. The result is the coverage rate for the particular vaccine dose. Let us do a calculation together. Let us say the target population is infants under the age of one. The number of infants is 120. When we look at data for the past 12 months, we see that we delivered 90 doses of pentavalent one. 90 divided by 120 is 0.75. Multiply that by 100, and the result is our annual coverage rate for pentavalent 1, which is 75%. You will probably be doing this calculation for several different vaccine types and vaccine doses, so you may want to use a simple chart to keep track of it all, like this one. Now let us look at how to calculate the dropout rate between the first and last dose of the same vaccine series. This is the formula we will be using. First, calculate the number of dropouts for a particular vaccine series. For example, let us say that 117 infants in the target population received pentavalent 1 over the past 12 months but only 100 received pentavalent 3. The number of dropouts is 117 minus 100, or 17. Now, we take the number of dropouts, 17, and divide it by the number of infants who did receive the first dose over the previous 12 months. 17 divided by 117 is 0.145. Multiply 0.145 by 100 and the result is the dropout rate. You should now know how to calculate coverage rate and dropout rate. 